Greetings gentlemen and ladies, in today's video I've finally solved my super weird Unreal Engine slowdown stutter. It had nothing to do with engine scalability, it had nothing to do with the data intermediate, although some of these things did seem to uh, have some effect. I did some other optimization videos in the past, maybe some of you have seen those. Um, but if you find yourself experiencing uh, a certain type of stutter where you're where, where you basically have nothing open in Unreal, just like this. And sometimes it runs perfectly smooth, and then all of a sudden you get like four frames per second, and and it's just it's just like basically freezing up your computer. I finally figured out what was going on in that case. Um, let me just launch up Task Manager here. Basically, my SSD, for some reason or another, was chugging out at 100% usage. Uh, as soon as that happened, uh, my whole computer started locking up. So it's kind of bouncing around here right now. But uh, ever since I've made this change, uh, Unreal just runs so smoothly like it should. So if you are still struggling and you've tried a few other things to optimize your Unreal Engine and you couldn't figure out what's working, check out your task manager, check out performance, check out your SSD. When your computer is sort of slow and chugging and freezing, check out if you got that 100% SSD issue. And here's what you do. Here's how I fix this. Um, is this a symptom of a larger problem with my SSD? I don't know. I don't know. But this solved my problem anyway um, for now. Uh, basically, uh, what I did first is I started by changing my Unreal Engine uh, content, my, my vault location. So if you go into your Unreal Engine, I'll, I'll show you guys one more time, settings, and then you go to your, you go to your, where is it, vault, there it is, yes, edit vault cache location. So this was on C drive, my SSD. So what I did is I moved this to D drive, which is my HDD, basically, or basically any other drive, not your primary drive that you're going to run Unreal Engine on. Uh, what I noticed in particular when I was, I, I finally figured this out when I was downloading a whole bunch of Megascans assets. Uh, what I noticed is that it was just slowing down my whole computer, and I finally put two and two together that it was that hard drive write, uh, and basically all these, basically when you're working in Unreal Engine, Typically, you've got like a lot of data moving around. Sometimes you're making backups of your project folder. Uh, you, you know, you're uh, you typically are moving around a lot of files, like a lot of files. And that's the thing. Maybe not even a huge amount of size, but a lot of files, right? Um, the other thing I also did was I turned off Windows index search, search indexing, but I don't think that that was the thing that fixed it. What I think finally fixed it is that I moved my project folders from my C drive, my SSD, I moved them over to D, so all the files are on D. I have my Unreal Engine installed on C. Uh, it might be a little faster running off the SSD compared to the HDD, but I have all of my working files over on D. Uh, so all of the file activity happens on a second drive, which is kind of what was chugging up my computer. Uh, and, and basically the program runs on my SSD, where it runs nice and fast, right? Uh, and then the only thing, like I say, is you want to probably go in into your Epic Launcher, change your vault cache. And then what I actually had to do is because uh, what I did is I moved all of my C, my projects on C drive, my SSD, over to D drive. Uh, and then they all disappeared from here. So in order to get those back, all you have to do is launch Unreal Engine, open any one of those projects from your D drive for just one time. And once you open them uh, one time from D drive or wherever you move them to, uh, they'll appear again. Uh, Unreal Engine basically will learn of the location of a new project and it'll add it to your My Projects list, which is good because then when you add to project, you'll be able to actually choose it from the list. So that's uh, when you add you know, content to a project, that's uh, pretty uh, annoying to not have those there. So that's how to get those, how to get your working projects back into your My Projects list whilst still migrating all of your projects over from your SSD. So this is sort of maybe an obscure issue. It was, uh, yeah, giving me trouble for like almost two, almost two years, <laughs> like a year and a half or so. It was crazy. Uh, how many things I tried to try to fix this and sometimes it would run perfectly smooth uh, and other times just like nothing even being loaded would run like four frames per second uh, and I couldn't figure it out and when I was like playing other even like simple little games sometimes I play Gods Unchained here it's not even a heavy app 
when I was playing Gods Unchained, whilst uh, you know downloading some files, the, you know Gods Unchained was basically freezing up and it could barely load, and it was because of all that SSD activity, that 100% SSD activity. Right now it says 84. I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think it's just kind of bouncing around weirdly because, yeah, uh, I haven't experienced that ch slow chugging issue since I did this, and I've been loading in assets and and just kind of you know working uh, as normal and everything seems to be running really fine. Normally when I would do something, right, it would it would start to chug up initially, but everything's just running smoothly like it used to, you know, back in the day. Uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with my SSD. It's having some performance or hardware issues. Um, but yeah, or maybe not. Maybe that's just the way SSDs deal with a lot of file activity. Because I was downloading probably 150 gigabytes of probably who knows how many textures and files, right? It was just so much file activity going on um, that it, you know, chugged up the SSD. Anyway, I'm going to upload this video in case anybody has this particular issue. Took me, like I say, a year and a half to fix. Maybe this helps somebody. I'll see you guys later.